All right, guys, just made it to the Mall of America. It's like seven in the morning. There's a huge line outside, but we're here. We're ready. Uh, we had, oh my God, look at this line. Holy schmoly. Um, we had some issues on the drive up here. <laughs> Whoopsies, I kind of forgot my wallet. Michaela forgot her wallet. Uh, her boyfriend, Sean, he's been on the channel. He uh, brought her wallet to her and her debit card wasn't even in her wallet. So, <laughs> good times. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hey guys. I've tried to film this little portion of the video like 20 times. I'm having issues with my phone. Um, I don't know what's going on. But I just wanted to film a little outro for this video. Um, kind of tell you about our experience at the Mall of America yesterday. Um, I didn't really get to vlog anything after we'd waited in line for a few hours, so I just wanted to, like, finish the video, I guess. Um, I'm just gonna say right now that I don't want, um, like, anyone to think that I'm, like, complaining or anything in this video, but I do want to just share, like, our experience. And I want to say right now, too, that, um, going into this event, I knew that I basically knew it was going to be a shitstorm, and I told Dustin that I wasn't sure if I wanted to go because I didn't think it was going to be worth our time. Um, I love Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, but I'm not like diehard fans of either of them, so it wasn't like life or death if I didn't get to meet them. Um, but he told me I should go anyways, I'd regret it if I didn't, and it would just be a fun experience to say like, hey, I got to be at the mall when Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star were there. So I basically knew that it was going to be crazy. So um, Michaela and I, my friend Michaela, we went, um, we stayed at my aunt's house the night before. So we basically just woke up really early Saturday morning and got ready and drove to the mall. Um, we probably got to the mall around like 7, 7.30. And we had to wait outside, which I knew. Um, the Mall of America had, like, a post that said, um, you can bring, like, a blanket and stuff to, like, be warm outside. Um, so we basically sat outside for an hour and a half. Um, some people were there at, like, 1 a.m. Apparently people were there, like, the night before at 6 p.m. Like, that is just crazy to me how long people waited in line before us. I feel like we waited in line a long time, but definitely not compared to other people. So we finally get inside and the way the line is, the line like wraps around the whole entire like second floor. So you walk in and then it wraps around the whole one side and then kind of snakes and then comes to the middle and then goes all the way to the other side of the mall where Morphe is. And at this point everybody had to pee and there's basically this rule where if one person from your group stayed in line, you could leave and like go use the restroom or go get food and come back. So that's what people were doing. And um, we kind of made friends with everybody like surrounding us. So some of the girls came back from the bathroom and they were like, there's no toilet paper in the bathroom whatsoever. Like I would understand if it was like one stall, but it there was like, this bathroom had like 10 stalls in it and not a single stall had toilet paper in it. <laughs> so I go and people are like, I didn't wipe. It's disgusting, but I had to go. I had to pee. Um, luckily my stall had like the itty bittiest, tiniest amount of toilet paper left. 
and people were like reaching underneath my stall to grab like little scraps of toilet paper that were on the floor to use which is just uh that, that's gross to me um but anyways we wait in line um this wasn't anyone's fault except our own but we did not eat breakfast we didn't have time to we didn't pack snacks um if you guys have seen if you guys watched um Michaela forgot her wallet and she forgot a few other things we definitely didn't plan this trip very well it was just a very much last moment thing <laughs> um so we were hungry um people were going and getting food and coming back and it smelled really good so the only thing close to us on our level was a starbucks so Michaela decided to go get starbucks that was a super long also super long line also which i can imagine um and she texted me and she's like starbucks completely ran out of food which I feel bad for the Starbucks employees, but I feel like the Mall of America should, like, plan accordingly. Like, they... I don't know. I don't know how events work, but I would think that they would at least have known about this. Like, they knew when the palette was releasing, and I'm sure, like, all the legal stuff had to be done in advance. Um, but yeah, Starbucks ran out of food, so Michaela came back just with our coffees. Um, which I was very thankful for, at least for the coffee. Um, but we basically stood in line. Um, they had talked about doing more meet and greet, um, like scratch off tickets and more wristbands for people waiting in line. Um, I saw something on like, I think the Mall of America's Instagram story that a little girl had won a wristband and that was really cute because she got super excited. But nobody like from our section of the line got a meet and greet that I know of. Like, I never saw, like, a Morphe employee come down and, like, do any of that kind of stuff. So, I don't really know how that worked. Nobody really knew, like, what was going on. There was a lot of, like, just people didn't know what was going on. People didn't know, like, what the line was even for. They were like, is this the meet and greet line? They were like, is this just, like, getting into the store line? Um, so basically, I'm trying to make this video short, but I can't like explain everything so I'm sorry if I'm rambling um, but basically it was 1130 and um, people behind us and in front of us are talking about leaving the line because there's no way that we're gonna get close to Morphe at noon and noon was when um, they were going to be making their appearance outside of Morphe and like saying whatever they're gonna say talking to like the public um, before they did their meet and greet with the people that actually had won tickets. So at this point, that's all that like Michaela and I wanted to do was to see, was to just see them. And we, we already bought our palettes online because we weren't even sure like how many palettes Morphe was going to have today or if they were all going to sell out Friday. Like it, we just didn't know. So um, she'd luckily bought our palettes online. So we were basically just in line to like, see the other stuff that Morphe had, see the other, like, pieces in the collection, and try and win meet and greets. So, um, people in front of us are leaving, people behind us are leaving. Um, I pretty much look at Michaela, and she's like, I'm really hungry, and I'm about to get really hangry, and I know you get hangry, and we just wanted to try and get closer to the Morphe store at that point, and then we didn't want to waste our whole day standing in line, we wanted to go shopping afterwards. So, we make the decision to... Uh, leave the line and go get food and then go um, just stand by Morphe and see if we can see um, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. So um, I know some people had a lot of issues with security. Um, apparently some girl in a wheelchair got kicked out um, because she was taking up too much space in line and then the security let um, a whole bunch of other girls stand where she was taking up the space which is just like so wrong and I wasn't there to witness that but it's been all over Facebook and stuff and that's just horrible um so I guess security was being pretty rude to people um yelling at people like pushing them saying they needed to leave they couldn't be in certain areas um but the way the Morphe store is set up in the mall there's like nowhere for people to stand there's like the Morphe store and then like the railing because it's on the second level so there's hardly anywhere for like them to even stand to like speak to us um 
So basically, we were trying to stand, we were trying to walk and just like see our surroundings. And people were yelling at us to leave and we had to walk, we had to keep walking, we couldn't stand. Um, people were standing in front of like the storefronts because the railing, like the ledge, like was already five people deep. Um, so we couldn't see anything from that point anyways. So we were just trying to like stand there and collect our thoughts and people were getting told to like move which I understand is like a safety thing, but we were like in an area that wasn't even like, I mean, it was still close to the event, but it wasn't like we, it was nowhere where we could see. And we were just trying to like stand off to the side and like talk like, okay, hey, should we go down to the next level? Should we, like, what should we do? Where should we go stand? And then a security guard came up to us. We weren't even standing there for like 10 seconds. And he was like, you guys can either go shop. And I think it was Nordstrom's. He was like, you guys can go shop in Nordstrom's or you guys can like go somewhere else, but you can't stand here. Like this isn't whatever. And which like, what is his job? But we were just trying to like figure out our next plan because we didn't want to get yelled at for being in the way of people in the walkway. So um, basically the event started and we just had to stand behind like the six rows of people on the third level. Um, basically nobody could see, everyone was holding up their phones to record. So that's how we were like watching what was happening down below was people's phone screens. Um, luckily Michaela's tall, I am not, um, but she got some video, so I'll insert that. Um, but you couldn't hear anything at all. Um, so people were mad about that. People were mad at the Mall of America for the sound system. Because, yeah, you. I know there's a lot of people and they're screaming, but you could not hear anything anyone was saying. I don't know about the second level because we were on the third level at that point. But from the third level, you couldn't hear anything at all. Um, so, yeah, that was basically our experience. We um, just went shopping afterwards. We made, like, the best of it. Um, we had a good time. Um, we laughed at ourselves for all of the things that happened on this trip, and as we were driving home, almost home, like 45 minutes, an hour left of our trip, we were in the middle of nowhere, and I hit a freaking deer. I've never hit a deer in my life, ever, and it was like a situation where there was really like nothing I could do about it. I tried my best not to hit it, there was cars behind me, and I hit the freaking deer, and my car was pretty messed up, so that just added to everything that's happened on this trip but it was fun it was definitely definitely an experience definitely something um to say like i went there and i got to be a part of it and yeah so i'll include that little bit that michaela recorded and um i might read some comments on the facebook page just so you guys know like what i'm trying to talk about for like not like i don't want to complain because, like, we had a pretty good time, but also, like, there was some drama, so I want to give you guys, like, their point of view or whatever. If that makes sense. Uh. Hello? Okay. Uh. I'm just going to read a few comments quickly for you guys, um, just so you can know that, like, this isn't me complaining. I'm just, like, giving you... The opinions of everyone else and what the general like consensus was. So Mall of America's Facebook page, they made a few posts about Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Today was iconic. Congratulations, Jeffree Star Cosme Cosmetics and Shane Dawson on their conspiracy launch. Um, and then there's a few pictures. Um, so the Mall of America's Facebook page is pretty active. They were replying to all of the good comments um, pretty much all day. And then you get to the negative comments and there's silence. So, um, I'm just going to read some of the comments. Um, more like TanaCon 2.0, thanks to Mall of America, poor planning, and rude staff, but y'all aren't ready to have that conversation. Clown emoji. Um, I miss the event, but spill the tea. <laughs> Literally couldn't even stop for a second to look at the store without two people telling me to keep moving. I drove four hours for absolutely nothing. I understand that there were tons of people. I get that. I don't think Mall of America knew 
to what extent how huge this event was going to be. But common sense says if something can sell out in less than two hours, it's going to be enormous. People were pushed around and security was cherry picking at what they did and did not want to enforce. Not to mention a young girl in a wheelchair was told to get out of the crowd because she was past the line. Tell me what line, please. Mall of America replying back to everyone besides these comments, lol. Um, today was the worst day because of your staff. You guys shouldn't host events if you cannot properly plan and organize it. Your staff was rushing like chickens without their heads on and being extremely rude to the guests waiting in line. After waiting from 4.30 to 12, finally they come on stage and we couldn't hear a word they said. They definitely knew how big it would be. This isn't Shane's first time in the mall. Last time he was in the rotunda and it was packed out. So basically the rotunda is like an area of the mall there's like a stage and you can actually, there's actually good like places to stand and watch. Um, from other comments I read though, um, I don't know if the Mall of America wanted to do it in the rotunda, but um, I was told, by, not told, but I read on comments that um, Morphe like makes their events be held outside of their store. So I, I don't know whose fault it was, but. Um, at least have a stage or raised platform so the people that came can actually see you or do it in the rotunda where there's actually space for this kind of thing. I'm pissed. Um, they made us move. They weren't a We weren't able to find any other area to view, so my friend and I just sat down on a bench to listen and that didn't even work because their PA system was crap and we couldn't hear anything. I sent Mall of America a private message regarding the awful treatment with the picture of how much bigger their so-called line was after they forced me to move. Oh, so I think this is the girl that was in the wheelchair or her mom. There's a big, like, thread. There's a bunch of comments. Um, yeah, so basically people were not happy. It wasn't planned the best. Um... Poorly planned on part of the Mall of America, waited for hours to get to the store. Then when it was time for the appearance, you couldn't see anything. People were pushed, waited so long, and was happy I got the pallet but couldn't see anything. Security was rude. I get it's their job to keep people in their lane, clear for safety reasons, but they were just plain rude. Could have been planned so much better. Also, sound was terrible on top of not being able to see anything and couldn't hear anything either of them said. So, yeah, people are pretty much not very happy overall. Um, there's more comments, but yeah, that's just a gist of it. Um, but yeah, that's, I just wanted to share my experience. Um, had a good time anyways. Um, went shopping afterwards, spent more money than I wanted to, but yeah, that's, that's all. And, um, I'll see you guys later.